Hello, hello, it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. Welcome to Thursday Night Stamp Therapy. I'm so excited that you're joining me today, and I'm sorry that we're live a little later than normal. It is that season, spring season, when all the <laughs> end of the year, like we had a recognition uh, night at the middle school, we had a softball game just bouncing all over the place. It's, I feel like it's going to be like this for many Thursdays to come over the next month or so until school is done. And then hopefully we'll be back to some normal schedule. I've got some projects to share with you today. We're going to make three cards using the Enjoy the Journey designer paper. Um, we've used this one before, and it's one of my favorites. It's retiring, and so I just wanted to feature it one last time. Um, tonight, I'm making projects that are um, similar to the projects that we made in Stamp Club today. I had I have a local group that gets together and stamps every month. We call it Stamp Club, um, even though it's not like a traditional stamp club. But a shout out to all my girls <laughs> um, who came last night and this morning. I always enjoy stamping with them. And since I don't get to do a lot of in-person stamping, most of my business is online. It's kind of nice to get together sometimes in person. So um, that was so much fun. So well, I'm going to show you the projects that we made today using this designer paper. This is on the last chance list and I've been trying to keep it updated after the free shipping promotion yesterday. I think a whole bunch more sold out and I need to update it. Um, so I'll try to do that in the next 24 hours. But the links are in the video description right now if you want to check it out. There are still some amazing discounts, especially in the, <laughs> in the back where all of the ribbon and the dies and the punches are. Like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe some of these crazy discounts. So I know we just had free shipping yesterday, but if you haven't had a chance to check out these lists, you literally just have, what, like another week? A week and a couple days. And then it's going to be time for the new catalog. And I know... You guys are ready for the new catalog, aren't you? <laughs> if you're a customer of mine, I'll be mailing them out tomorrow. I'm working with the kids to get that done. And I'm offering product shares again. This is always very popular. A way to sample all the new catalog stuff without spending all the money yourself. So this is a picture of the mini catalog product share. I don't have all the stuff to take a picture yet. We, we haven't been able to order everything yet. But essentially, it's going to include all the designer paper and the new ribbon. Um, and so you can sign up to get that product share. You can also get an in-color product share, which is going to include um, a sampling of the new in-color cardstock, designer paper. Um, I think there's some gift bags and some specialty luster paper, a yard or two yards each of the ribbon. So it's a great way to kind of sample and get a little bit of everything. And then if you sign up for either one of my product shares, you have the option to add on a cardstock sampler ring. I'm really excited about this add-on. I was working on this today. This is how you'll get it. So it's going to come with the ring and the labels in the cardstock. And then you can punch the hole yourself with a hole punch at home and put the labels on them so that you have a reference to see all the new colors. I will be offering this as a separate um, item to purchase. If you don't want to get a product share, um, you'll be able to get um, a cardstock sampler ring, but I'm going to do that later in May after I get all the product shares done, and it will be more expensive. So it's cheaper to add it on to the product share if you want to get one, but if you don't want to get the product share, you will be able to get a cardstock ring um, later on. And for my team, I'll be sharing the download with those labels so you can print labels yourself and make your own at home if you want. I just kind of wanted to offer something where you guys could see all of the colors in the new line up and kind of have that resource as you're making cards at home, maybe to compare against your own collection or just even to figure out what, what matches the designer paper that you're you're working on in your product share. So that is the, that's what that looks like. It's gonna come like this, the add-on cardstock ring. Um, so you can do that right now. You can sign up. I've got the link ready to go. I'll be adding a few more details um, in the next 24 hours, but the link is there and you can sign up on the Google form um, to get the product share. And once the catalog goes live, I'll be able to order everything and then get those sent out in the middle of May. So I'm so excited to offer those again. I know you guys have been excited to see it, but you're not here for the new catalog. We're going to make some cards using that gorgeous Enjoy the Journey designer paper. And we're going to start with, um, we're going to start with this card. This one is one of my favorite. I don't know if I showed it before in a video. 
Um, I don't think that I did. I think I showed it, but I didn't demonstrate it. Um, but we made this one this morning, and it was one of the favorite cards of um, of the group. And so I'm, I'm really excited about this one. And as you can see, it uses this portion of the designer paper. So I love when they have these papers that have kind of a top and a bottom, and you can cut down the middle and then cut into four-inch pieces and create um, six cards from one sheet. So I'm going to make this card. We're going to start with that. And I forgot to do measurements. I do apologize, but I will add them to the video description when we're all done. We're going to start with some Starry Sky cardstock. This is five and a half by eight and a half. Some designer paper, four inches by five and a quarter. Same size for the white piece that's going on the inside. Ooh, looks like I have an extra piece. And then um, a tag for the front, two inches by three inches. And a little accent piece of fresh freesia. This is one by two inches. So the stamp sets that we're using today are both retiring. Make sure that you get these good ones. These are really awesome for masculine cards. And the card I'm gonna make today I think is perfect for graduation. Do you know someone graduating this spring? I've got a high school graduate in the house, and um, I think this card is just so perfect and something that she'll uh, maybe make and share with some of her friends. So we're using it for the sentiments, the greatest journey stamp set. This one's in the purple mini catalog, and it does coordinate with the suite that has the designer paper. For the inside, we're gonna add some imagery from the mountain air stamp set. I know, this one is so good. Oh no, Tony says it might be gone. That is really sad, and I hope that's not the case. Um, I tried to check on something before um, I went live, but I forgot to check on that stamp set. Well, I don't know if the Mountain Air stamp set is gone. These might still be available. The Majestic Mountain dies. I'm not using them on this card, but they are discounted. And um, they have some shapes like clouds. And these trees are my favorite. Oh my gosh, look at those detailed trees. So amazing. Um, and so I think you could make some awesome cards. Even if you didn't have the stamp set, you still have some of the shapes. So, oh yes, so good. So good. We've got some great masculine sets, I think, in the catalog. And um, so make sure to check out that list because there's some good ones going away. Some new ones coming, but um, these are the ones we're using tonight. So colors, we're going to use Starry Sky and Fresh Freesia. And most of the stamping is going to be um, on the inside. So we've got my stamps mounted here. These are nice long border stamps. So if you can still get this, um, it's such a good one. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to keep up with your comments and I'm so sorry. Um, I'm so sorry if I miss them. It's so hard on YouTube because they kind of disappear from the screen. Um, so if you ask a question um, and I'm not I'm not seeing it answering, please just go ahead and ask again and I'll I'll try to I'll try to catch it. Um, I would love to know. Leave a comment. Let me know. Did you guys place an order yesterday with the free shipping offer? That was so much fun. I love it when they do that. It's kind of a surprise. All of a sudden they just uh they <laughs> sprung it on us. All right, I'm starting with the mountains. They're going to be in the fresh freesia, and they're going to go about an inch from the bottom. Um, I want to have <laughs> I want to have room for the trees. Isn't this amazing? This is one of those stamp sets. I'm going to show you. Uh, we're going to use the sea turtle later, um, which is the same kind of stamp set. It's reversible, so if you wanted to, you could turn that around and you could stamp the same um, the same stamp image and do the solid behind it to kind of color in the mountains. Really awesome. I'm just realizing I'm going to need something off the kitchen table. Claire, are you still in there? Yep. Um, at some point, can you bring me my chamois, which is on in the middle of the table? All right, we're going to do Starry Sky for the trees next. And sometimes these big stamps are kind of awkward. So um, thanks, darling. Um, so it's, I find sometimes easier to turn it over and put it flat on the desk like that. So this is going to go at the bottom. Oh my gosh, I'm so obsessed with this. <laughs> oh, isn't it beautiful? I think it really coordinates well with the designer paper. It's nice to kind of carry that in. Now that I'm looking at it, I kind of feel like maybe Fresh Freesia wasn't the right color and Highland Heather, I think, is the purple in there. So if you're making this at home, maybe substitute <laughs> the Highland Heather instead of the Fresh Freesia, but no one's going to see on the inside the designer paper, so it'll be fine. Uh, we're going to do Wishing You Joy in this next adventure on the inside. And then for the front piece, we're going to do this one, which says, this moment is the start of something great. And we're gonna stamp that kind of in the center. 
we're gonna do a little banner tip on one end and the purple piece on the other. And you know what? I forgot I was gonna stamp two cards. Um, cause you know, why not? If you're, if you're cutting a piece of cardstock in half, you might as well, uh, make two cards at once. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly do the other things that I did for the first card and add those to the inside of this card. Oops. Sentiment. I won't make you, <laughs> I won't make you watch me adhere them both together, but it'll, it'll be the same thing and I'll have it ready later on to finish making. So we're gonna add those mountains in the background. Oh my gosh, I'm so obsessed. If you if it isn't sold out yet, you need to go get this stamp set, Mountain Air. Um, okay, so we have our front piece, we have our card base, we have the piece to go inside, and let's, let's doctor this up a little bit. We're going to do a little banner tip, and I've been doing this a lot lately, so if you haven't seen, here's a reminder, we're gonna start with a cut up the center as much as you want it to go. If you want to have a really deep banner, you can. If you want to just do, I usually do like a half an inch or so. Then I'm going to go from the corner to the top of that center cut. And this is good with a longer blade like this. It's kind of a short blade in comparison to other blades, but you want to make sure you have a blade that can go from the tip to the that center. You really want to do that in one stroke if you can with the scissors to avoid a wavy cut. So trying to go all the way just in one, one cut. And then we have a nice, even little banner there. I want to add a little pop of color. What happened to our, what happened to our little fresh fuchsia piece? Uh-oh. <laughs> I hate it when this happens. I just had it. Oh. See, I told you. <laughs> We're going to tear here. And um, I'm just going to tear kind of towards myself. And I just love that little added texture. Now, if you prefer to have a straight edge, then you can certainly um, do a straight edge across your card. But I, I just kind of like that extra, that extra little texture. This is going to go on with some regular adhesive. And I need to kind of use my sentiment as a guide. I don't want to crowd it too much. Um, but if, if it goes over, you can either leave it or you can turn it over and cut it. And I don't know that I want it to be that small. So I think I'm going to just leave it and it'll kind of be going over the edge a little bit, which is fine. Let's glue down the insides. You know, I told you I wasn't going to do them both at the same time, but I might as well. Do you guys make more than one card at a time <laughs> when you're stamping? Um... Yes. Oh, that's true. Melissa says it kind of mimics mountain peaks. I think that's um, very accurate. Yes. What I love about this designer paper is that for a paper that leans a little more masculine, um, it has some really nice bright colors in it. And I think that sometimes with masculine paper, we... Um, they tend to be like brown, you know, or blue. And um, I'm using blue right now, yes, but like I just think it's really fun that it's so bright and colorful paper. Um, let's see, this is the inside. And oh my gosh, this card is just so easy. <laughs> I love it. I actually made up. I made up a whole bunch already this morning. That's how easy it was. It was just so quick to come together. We're gonna add some Stampin' Dimensionals here um, with for the banners. Claire's coming in to check out this card. What do you think, Claire? I think it looks awesome. I know, right? The colors are just so fun. The paper is so cool. It just comes together so nice. I've seen some of you say that you do multiples and some of you don't. Um, and I think I know some of you for, um, you know, making multiples, then it, it, it's not like a one of a kind card. And so I know for some of you, um, your card making really is a lot more personalized and um, you really um, have a lot of layers and really kind of go all out on your card. And so a one of a kind card is amazing as well. My thought kind of is that you can have a really cute card and you know, the other person's not going to know that you gave the same card to somebody else. <laughs> so it's just, um, getting more mileage out of the card design. 
To finish off the card, we're gonna add one of these enamel sticker icons. And um, these are really fun. They are self-adhesive, so you can just peel them off and put them right on. And there are four designs. Um, you get the campfire and the compass and the arrow and the trees. And for this card, I really do prefer the darker of the two um, designs. Um, you could put the trees up there or, or the compass up there. I think the compass is a really good image, especially for like a graduation, you know, like this is the start of something great, kind of a new adventure. Um, but I prefer just the darker color of the arrows. So I don't know, you tell me this or that, which of these icons do you prefer? And there's four of them to choose from. I did a little coloring with the Stampin' Blends to try to color the compass, starry sky, but I just wasn't happy with the way that turned out. So um, leave a comment, let me know which of these two do you prefer, the compass or the arrows? And uh, just like that, it's done. <laughs> we have this super cute card. And I'll show you that inside again. Oh my gosh, isn't that just perfect to go inside? It matches so well. I have cut some um, of the other pattern, the other trees to make some cards with the other side. So I'm just gonna do similar, um, similar thing with the banner and the little um, accent piece and um, probably garden green, I think is the green that goes with this. And then coastal cabana will be my accent color. So definitely going to use up that designer paper and make a whole bunch of cards because it's just so easy and so cute. Uh, this I think might be my favorite pattern on the designer paper pack, but there are more patterns that are really beautiful. And our next card is going to utilize one of those patterns. So let's get out that. <laughs> And you might really be thinking, um, you might be surprised <laughs> by the stamp set I'm going to use next because Share a Milkshake maybe is one that you wouldn't have guessed that I would use with the Enjoy the Journey designer paper. But we are going to use a piece of the... Um, of this one, the Melon Mambo pattern. And the other side of it, you can kind of see, we've got some mountains going on there. So let me show you really quick um, of the big papers. It is this one, and on the back has that Melon Mambo design. And so the other colors we're using are Coastal Cabana, a little bit of Blushing Bride, which is retiring, and then we've got some white. And this card design was inspired by a card made by Jill Olson. She is a longtime Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I got to see her um, and spend a little time with her when we were in St. George, and we had dinner together, and then we got to go see um, her stamp room in her office, and this was one of the cards that she had on the desk, and I just thought it was so stinking cute. So we're going to use Share a Milkshake. And this one is in the purple mini catalog, but it does carry over. Um, so this is my reminder. If you have some bundles like that, even if they're going to carry over, that 10% bundle discount will end on May 1st. So if you're looking at some catalogs or some bundles, um, then you might want to think about getting them before May 1st and get that 10% discount. Because when you get them bundled, uh, you get the stamp set and the dies for 10% off. So it's pretty awesome. Share a Milkshake has some really great dies, including like a waffle cone and then some waffle texture, as well as some dies that will die cut the images in the stamp set. So we've got a straw and a bowl, the ice cream and the cup really, really fun. All right, so let's do some stamping. Again, I'm so sorry I don't have the measurements prepared for you, but I will include them in the video description. Our Coastal Cabana cardstock is five and a half by eight and a half. We have a piece for the inside that's four inches by five and a quarter. That designer paper is, let's see, it's four inches by two and five eighths or something like that because I was cutting a, a scrap piece, but if I was cutting it again, I would probably cut it at like two and three quarters or something more even. So four inches by two and three quarters. And then we have a piece of white cardstock. This one is two and a quarter by three and three quarter inches. And a, a scrap piece to stamp and die cut from. And our um, blushing bride cardstock is one inch by three inches. Okay, 
Oh, this card is so stinking cute. You're going to love it. <laughs> uh, let's start with our stamping. So we're going to stamp first on this piece. We're going to stamp our cup. And we're using uh, Bermuda Bay and Coastal Cabana. Bermuda Bay and Blushing Bride are both colors that are retiring. Um, I'm not sure the status of whether or not the ink pads and cardstock are still available. I'm pretty sure the ink refills are sold out. But there are still some retiring colors that are available. So make sure to get your favorites. You have just over a week. Um, to get them before they're gone. I'm so sad about some of those colors, but um, well, I'm going to keep using them while I can. We're going to do the detail first in Bermuda Bay. And so this is a two-step stamp. So we've got the detail image here. And I'm going to put this kind of towards the bottom. And then the next one, it looks kind of funny, especially down here at the bottom. The next one is going to be um, in Coastal Cabana. And this is the solid the solid image of our two-step. And for this one, Coastal Cabana is actually a little too bright. So I'm just going to stamp off on the scrap paper and then I'm going to stamp, I'm thinking right there. Um, I'm just not sure how that bottom is supposed to go. I think it'll be okay. Um, so we've got that in the stamped off uh, Coastal Cabana. And then next we're going to stamp on the piece to die cut, we're going to stamp the ice cream and Blushing Bride. And we're going to do the cherry. Oh yes, thank you for the update, Chelsea. Bermuda Bay cardstock and ink pads and re-inkers are sold out. What a bummer. But you know what? Azure afternoon is coming and it's beautiful. <laughs> so I think it'll be, you can, I think it'll be okay. <laughs> if you missed out on this color, you can get the, the ones that are coming. Um, okay, we're going to die cut that. But before we do, since we got our stamps out, let's keep stamping. I'm going to do celebrate on the banner and going right in the center here, leaving room to do another little banner tip. So we're going to do one up the center and from each corner there. Get the one, another little... And then on the inside, life is sweeter with you. These dark pinks really do kind of do a number on your photopolymer stamps, but it will still stamp cleanly in another color. So don't worry if, um, if your stamps get stained. Um, I want to add one, one more stamp here. We're going to do the little, um, we're going to do the little, um, hearts. I don't know why I couldn't think of hearts. We're doing the hearts. <laughs> um, and we're going to also stamp the hearts on the front of the card. So first I'm going to put this designer paper down. I'm going right over here, centered from top to bottom, but going about a half inch from the edge. And then we're going to add some flowers in that space. And our banner is going to come over here. I do not like the way that cut. There, that's better. So that's going to hang over the edge like that. And this is going to go on with Stampin' Dimensionals over here. Let's go ahead and add that. And then we'll do our die cutting and add the ice cream and the cherry. We got a little edge showing over here and plenty of room for the celebrate. Aren't the colors so great on this card? I just love them. I think it's just so fresh and fun. I don't think I would have thought of using Coastal Cabana for like an ice cream card, but I really dig it. Okay. I need to move my stamps out of the way <laughs> before I ink up something that shouldn't be inked up. Okay, we're getting our die cutting machine out. Here's little Lucy. Oh my gosh, I just love 
love little Lucy. She's my mini stamp and cotton emboss machine, and she's perfect for little jobs just like this one. You can also get the bigger stamp and cut and emboss machine, but typically my desk gets all filled up with stuff. <laughs> and so I like having um, an option that is easy to lift up and put on on the desk and use it. I'm going to use a sticky note to um, to secure my dies in place so that they don't slip around as I'm die cutting. Grabbing those dies from the share of milkshake dies and um, I'm going to line them up here and I will use the sticky note to hold the, the dies in place. And it's a removable adhesive, so it's not gonna tear your cardstock at all. And then we're just going to cut, boop, 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 just cut that out. Thank you, Lucy. Right, right off the desk again. So easy. I think that's my favorite part of the mini machine is that it's really easy to lift off and on the desk when I need it. And, um, and then it just stays out of the way. Okay, we have, I'm gonna show you really quick because you probably noticed there's a slit <laughs> in my ice cream. That's actually part of the die and it's intended for the straw to go through the slit in that milkshake. But we're just gonna cover it up with the cherry and then you won't even know um, that it was supposed to be something different. Oh, you could of course add the, um, add a straw if you wanted to, uh, but for our card today, I'm gonna leave leave it off. Aren't these images just the cutest? I think this is such a good one. Even though it has a Valentine sentiment in it, I think this is a good one for summer, for making summer cards, and especially in a color combination like we're doing on today's card. It just screams summer to me. We're going to add the cherry with... Um, Add the cherry with a glue dot. Oh, I see, Tony, your comment about you can also put the spoon in that slit. That's a good thought as well. When was the last time you had a milkshake? <laughs> I don't really, I don't really enjoy milkshakes much anymore. Um, I don't, I'm not lactose intolerant, but sometimes it's just a little too much for my belly. And so I just usually, usually just avoid it. But oh my goodness making this card makes me want to, <laughs> makes me want to go have a milkshake. Oh, especially it was kind of a warm, a warm day. So a milkshake sounds good. Um, all right, we need to add some bling to this card. I've got two options and I want you guys to vote. Uh, one of the options is the iridescent rhinestone basic jewels. I've been using these a lot lately. I'm kind of stuck on them, but I just love how they go with everything. The other one that I also have used a lot <laughs> is the um, pastel adhesive backed dots. So I kind of like the blue ones for this card, although you could also use the pink ones, I think. Um, so leave a comment and let me know this or that. I said this, this one first. So rhinestones or sequins, leave a comment and let me know which of these two you think that I should put on my card. I'm going to double check your comments here. Um, because I think I missed something. Um, um, the paper, went through the entire last chance list and the paper isn't there. Oh, Michelle's asking about Desi. Desi is my blue mini Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. This was a special that Stampin' Up! did during Celebration, and new demonstrators could um, could add on the Boho Blue mini Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine for half price to their starter kit. There are extra blue um, mini Stampin' Cut and Emboss machines. If you're a demonstrator, you can order right now. Um, and if you're a customer, if there's still enough inventory, then they will offer them blue mini Stampin' Cut and Emboss machines starting May 2nd. So if that's something you're interested, in, make sure to watch for that on May 2nd. I'm not sure if there will be enough inventory. And if there is, I don't have any guarantees as to how long it's going to last. Um, all right, I'm seeing some of your comments. Pink sequins says Donna. Bold, mix it up. I like it. Sequins 
either pastel sequins 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 i'm seeing a lot of sequins <laughs> a couple of rhinestones um see okay i think most of you are seeing sequins so let's do the sequins but i do have a finished sample with the rhinestones to show you and then you can you can decide for yourself which one you liked better <laughs> um all right let's let's get those sequins on this card i am gonna go with the blue because i'm gonna show you the pink i feel like is not quite a match for the pink um, I just feel like it's kind of a different tone from the Blushing Bride, and um, I don't know, for some reason, that bothers me a little bit. So I'm, we're going to use the blue. And this the pastel adhesive back sequins, there's two sheets. For some reason, I cut the small sheet. I don't know why. Um, but the, the small ones are on one sheet, and then the large ones are on the other. And you can tell I'm really loving the blue ones, and... Um, <laughs> running kind of low on them i gotta find a project to use for these pink ones because that's the one i <laughs> that's the one i haven't been using a lot um oh the pink sequins as drips that's a fun thought i love that um here is the card with the sequins or not the sequins this is sequins here's the rhinestones so um i don't know it's it's really close i think you could go either way on that and then the inside life is sweeter with you isn't that card just the sweetest i love it oh i'm seeing some comments about the inventory status report that is if you're a demonstrator the inventory status report on the demonstrator website under ordering inventory status report is the best place to find the most up-to-date information about the um, last chance items. And yes, you need to click on the discontinued tab to see the list of what's gone already. If you're um, not a demonstrator, you can look in the online store at the item. If the item page is still on the online store, um, but it says not available, that means it's sold out. If it's still, uh, if it's not on the online store anymore it is also not available and sold out so that's how you can tell if you have any questions you can get in touch with me um, but if it says not available or if the page doesn't exist in the online store then it is unfortunately sold out <laughs> all right this is card number two with the same designer paper that enjoy the journey and again maybe you didn't think about using this paper for um for this this bundle share a milkshake but i do think that it works really well and i just love this color combination again coastal cabana bermuda bay melon mambo and blushing bride all right are you guys ready for another card <laughs> our last card we're going to use some more of that designer paper and we're going to bring in two different patterns here uh, we're going to use this pattern which has um, those trees and mountains on the back. And this one, which has the garden green and pool party, which also has some trees in the back. Um, this is a double flap card is what I call it. I don't know. Um, can't remember what I what a joy fold card is. Maybe this is also called that. I always call it a double flap card. Anyway, I apologize again, no post-it notes, but I'll have the measurements for you in the video description. Our, um, our card base is um, eight and a quarter by eight, no, eight and a quarter by four and a quarter and scored at five and a half inches. So we have um, we have a little flap like that. And then um, the, some designer paper that's going to go on the inside. This is four inches by five and a quarter. And that's going to go here. Then a second card, and this is um, three and a quarter by um, nine inches, because this is four and a half, and um, scored at four and a half <laughs> i'll put the i'll put the, the whole list in there for you the measurements so that's going to go here and then this piece is two and a half inches by four and that's going to go on the front flap so we get some different patterns here did i show you the stamp set we're using i don't think i did so let's bring it out <laughs> uh, the stamp set for this one is we've got two of them 
the sea turtles stamp set or the sea turtle stamp set and the happy labels stamp set because this one doesn't have any sentiments um so i brought in this one the happy labels i think this is on the retiring list you know what actually it might be um one of those that have two different variations let's double check um here in the, uh, this is the purple mini catalog, January through April, 2023. There were a few stamp sets in this catalog. Yeah, this is one of them. Okay, so this is, this has caused a little confusion. Let me, let me show you here. Um, in this purple mini catalog, there were four stamp sets that were available in both photopolymer and red rubber. And this one was one of them. And so you can see here on the item numbers in the catalog, a C and a P. And this is the first time in a while that Stampin' Up! has done this, where they've offered um, a stamp set in two different kinds of um, medium. So the photopolymer and the red rubber. And I think the purpose was to kind of gauge and see which people would buy more. Because I don't know. For me, it really just depends on the stamp set. Sometimes I do prefer the red rubber and sometimes I use the photopolymer. Um, so yes, Margo, it is in the new catalog, but it is also on the retiring list because only one of those carried over to the new catalog and the other one didn't. And I can't remember which way this one went. I can actually check really quick in my new catalog. I can't open it up to show you. Um, but if you saw it on the retiring list, it's true. And if you saw it in the new catalog, it's true. <laughs> it is both retiring and in the new catalog. So the um, page 50 in the new catalog, let me double check and see. Um, so moving forward, it's only going to be available in photopolymer. And the red rubber clear stamp set is going to be discontinued. So if you want to get this stamp set in red rubber, then you'll want to order now. And um, if you want to get it in photopolymer, it still will be available in the new catalog in photopolymer, which is the medium that I chose. <laughs> um, I can't remember the other stamp set. Silly Goose, I know for sure, was one of them. Um, and so that was one that it was on the retiring list, but also in the new catalog. Oh, Around the Bend, I think was another one. And I don't remember the fourth one. So if that has caused some confusion, I apologize. And um, hopefully <laughs> it's not a, it, hopefully it's a, not a bad surprise when you still see it in the new catalog and it is still in there. So this one on the last chance list, but also coming to the new catalog. And so is Sea Turtle. Sea Turtle is going to be in the new catalog as well. This is one of those reversible stamp sets. I told you earlier the Mountain Air that we use, that's also a reversible stamp set. And so that means that it has two sides. So when you see these gray images, the gray image is the back side, that's the flat side of this image, and then this side has the detail. And so we're going to use them both on our card tonight. We're going to start with the detail. So I'm going to put that one um, face up. And um, we're going to do some stamping with the colors from the designer paper, which is Garden Green and Pool Party. And um, if, if you were at Stamp Club last night or this morning, this is a variation on the card that we made. I made some... I made a little change with the, the extra card part um, and the, the color. I'll show you the one that we made. It's, it's almost the same. It's just coloring is a little bit different. We're going to start with this kind of bubble stamp set or stamp from um, this set. And we're going to create a background of bubbles. And that's going to be towards the top in Pool Party. Oh, yes. Lighting the Way is the other one. Thank you, Tony, for clarifying and, and checking that for me. Lighting the Way is also one that is available in both options. And it is, um, thank you, Chelsea. <laughs> um, it is uh, both on the last chance list and also in the catalog because one is photopolymer and one is the red rubber. All right, we stamped um, we stamped the bubbles, and um, this is going to be for the inside, and we're going to stamp some fishies, and I'm going to kind of make them angle up. I think it was Lindsay that did that, or Monica, and I just thought it was really cute last night, so we're doing it on our card, and then for the inside, we're going to have the sentiment say, you've got the biggest heart. Oh, I love that. But you know what? My green is looking a little, a little faded. So I'm going to do it again. 
because I can. <laughs> Two sides to every piece of cardstock. That's what I love. Love about our cardstock is you can flip it over and try again. You've got the biggest heart. That one may be a little more angled. It's fine. Stop nitpicking. <laughs> talking to myself. <laughs> All right, so this is going to go on the inside. So cute. And then on the front, we're going to have um, a double label or a double oval punch. I love this punch and it is going to carry over. It has both a scalloped oval here it is, both the scalloped oval and the um, solid oval all in one punch. So I punched one in garden green and one in, um, <laughs> I almost did it, uh, basic white. So this is going to be, um, thank you on the front. Beautiful, let's layer that. Okay, and then on the bigger piece, we're going to stamp the turtle. So I'm gonna do that. Detail in, um, the detail's going to be in the garden green. Awesome, uh-oh. <laughs> do you see the little squiggle? There's like, I think there's a hair on the stamp. Sometimes you get that like a little lint or something. I still see it. Let's try, let's try again. Janice says it looks like part of the design. I think it was a, a piece of lint because there, do you see it there? And it's not here. <laughs> that, the photopolymer, sometimes, like you have to be careful because sometimes that lint can affect your stamping. Um, all right, we, we need to clean this because we're gonna flip the whole thing over and use the reverse side. This is a reversible stamp. It's kind of clever, isn't it? Um, so let's flip it over and put it down. And this time we're going to ink up in the pool party. And that's gonna go right over the top. I love the photopolymer and you can just see right where you're stamping. Isn't that pretty? I picked the colors, actually <laughs> Lindsay and Monica helped me pick the colors because I couldn't decide. I picked the colors from the designer paper. So we've got that pool party in there. So that's why I decided to use the pool party on this one. Oh, I was just thinking, I don't know if I have my um, other samples to show you with the sea turtle. If you haven't seen it already, you have to check out the video. We did a Sunday stamping video a couple weeks ago and my sister Amy was our special guest and we shared projects using the sea turtle stamp set. And oh my goodness, Amy created some amazing projects with some awesome techniques. So if you haven't seen it yet, uh, be sure to check it out. I'll link to it in the video description when we're all done. So you can check it out if you haven't already, but she just is so amazing and so creative. She literally stayed up all night before our video to create projects. She just like was in the zone. <laughs> when was the last time you stayed up all night and pulls an all nighter? Have you ever done that for stamping? Maybe at a retreat? Um, <laughs> yes, I, um, I don't know the last time I stayed up all night crafting. <laughs> I've stayed up all night working before leaving to, you know, get all my ducks in a row, but um, that wasn't necessarily by choice. <laughs> okay, our card's coming together. I just love, I love this little turtle. Isn't he just the cutest? Um, so we're gonna start first by putting the base of the cardstock down. And just because we got some different layers going on here, I wanna, add tear and tape to make sure that it really sticks down um, and stays put. So we're gonna use a few pieces of tear and tape to stick that down. 
in the center. So I'm gonna open up the first flap and then I'm going to, um, I'm going to put this down. Diane says, I get hairs all the time. It seems um, she started using a sticky roller before she stamps. That's a good, that's a good idea to use that sticky roller like for dog lint um, or in any kind of lint, I guess a lint roller. <laughs> um, it's a good idea to use it on the stamps. I like that to get that lint off. Okay, so with this open, I'm going right in the center here. And now when I open it, I can close this one. And so it kind of has like that double open. But if you do, if you put it down while this is open, it helps you to better be able to center that in the base of the card. Um, all right, we're going to add the turtle with some Stampin' Dimensionals. We're going to add our sentiment with Stampin' Dimensionals. Oh, this card's so cute. <laughs> we're going to do um, several on the back. I forgot we stamped that turtle twice. See, you can't even see it from the front. <laughs> and then two over here on the oval. And then we're going to need to bling it up as well. So we'll have to start thinking about what kind of bling we want to use on our card. Maybe since we did the sequins on that last one, maybe we'll use the rhinestones on this one. Oh my gosh, don't you love it? I love it so much. Thank you. You've got the biggest heart. Here's the one we did at Stamp Club. And the reason I didn't want to do it is because this kind of card design um, is one that I'm sharing on Sunday stamping when uh, with a different stamp set. So you'll have to tune in on Sunday um, to see kind of my little trick for doing this. And you'll have to see what... Um, what stamp set we're using. <laughs> so tune in on Sunday, um, this Sunday at noon central time. Um, let's do our bling and then I'm gonna see if I have, um, well, here's another project. This isn't the, the good version of the turtle. Is that, I have another turtle card. I wish I could, I wish I could find it. There's one more card I have in my head and I really wanted to do it tonight, but I just didn't have time to pull it together with this little turtle. So stay tuned. Maybe I'll do like a quick little video to show you, um, to show you that one, but let's bling it up. Let's use those iridescent rhinestones. And we have some, um, a lot of really great embellishments that are retiring. So if you love little, um, little pearls and little things to, um, and adorn your card. Make sure that you check out um, the last chance list and get stuck up on some of those awesome ones. We also have some that are in the clearance rack too. So make sure to check out the clearance rack for some good deals. Okay, rhinestones, so cute. Here's our last card. And can you believe all of our cards tonight used um, they all used that enjoy the journey designer paper. Isn't that funny? We have three different stamp sets that look so different. Like you would never think that they would all use the same designer paper, but here we, here we did it. Enjoy the journey designer paper. This is a 12 by 12 from the mini catalog. I showed it here at the beginning. Just some fun, bright patterns. Six different designs. You get two of each sheet, 12 by 12 designer paper. Um, and then there's the back side. Oh my gosh, I just love it. I know, I hope that you are inspired by the cards that I made, even if you don't have the same stamp set or the same designer paper. I hope that um, maybe you'll consider making cards with the same layout or the same kind of fun fold and do, um, and do something with what you have. I would love for you to share in our Share and Connect Facebook group, Julie Stamp and Spot. Be sure to check out the link in the video description, which is also where you're going to find the link for my annual catalog product shares. I just want to give you one more plug before we end our video. I'm really excited about the add-on, which is a cardstock sampler ring. Um, and it's going to come like this. So you'll be able to put your own together with the labels and the ring. And you can punch the holes um, so that you have a little reference of all the new colors. So if you are um, looking for something like this, this is going to be an add-on to my product shares. I will have it available um, in May as a, as a standalone item, but it's it'll be more expensive. So it'll be cheaper to add it on to the product share. So if you're looking to get samples of all the new designer paper and ribbon from the um, the new catalog, be sure that you sign up. This picture's old stuff, but the uh, the 
catalog will be for the new annual catalog. So sign up right now, uh, tinyurl.com slash AC for annual catalog 2023 product shares. It's a Google form and I'll be sending out the invoices um, on Tuesday. That's a week before the catalog starts because I can't collect money more than a week before I place the order. So that is why that's the date. So <laughs> watch for um, the invoices starting on Tuesday, but you can sign up right now if you want to reserve your spot. Thank you so much for joining in tonight on our live video. If you enjoyed the card ideas that I shared, please give this video a thumbs up, like it, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future card making videos. I hope you have a great evening and I will see you again very soon with another paper crafting video. Bye!